The collective result of these attacks could be a cyber Pearl Harbor. Physical destruction and the loss of life and create a new profound sense of vulnerability. As director of the CIA and the Secretary of Defense, I am understood. I hope you don't mind I came. Something wrong? It's good to see you, Gideon. You too. I know we didn't leave things on the best of terms. Is it true? What I heard about all safe? There is no all safe. I had to furlough everyone. I'm hoping to get up and running again, but everyone's telling me it's over. Gee, I wonder whose fault that is. Was that you or me? I'm getting all mixed up. I can't recall. Let me get to my point. The FBI believes that I was behind the hack, or complicit in some way. I've given them all the evidence I can. I've cooperated with them every step of the way. But they still keep coming at me. They don't trust me. In fact, I think they might be hacking my email. I know someone is. And now you're wondering who that someone is, aren't you? The, the, the logins from times and machines I don't recognize? Because if it was me, then that means it was you. How about it, huh? Could you live with yourself knowing that you framed Gideon? I keep changing the password, but it's so uh -huh. hot. Elliot? What's wrong? Go ahead, tell him. Tell them that you're slowly descending into madness. Stop. What? Stop what? There are only so many times before my bullets finally penetrate that thick skull of yours. And as the blood trickles out, so goes any sense of reason. Round and round we go, you not knowing what you did or didn't do. Our infinite loop of insanity. If you know anything at all, or if there's anything you can do to help me, I need you to. I can't help you. Are you really gonna let him take the fall for this? Look at him. Scared, small animal. Well, that's, that's unacceptable. Oh. Now he's doing what all small animals do when they're scared. Pretend they're bigger and scarier. Look, if you're not gonna do anything about this, I'm afraid you've left me no choice but to go to them with what I know. Which, given the things I know about the day you left, it's pretty damning. Now, I'm asking you one last time to do the right thing. He does have a point. He does know a lot. Perhaps too much. I wonder, if I sliced open his neck right now, would it be me doing it, or would it be you? No. Yes. I am going to go to them. I'm going to tell them Everything. Do you understand, Elliot? Everything. Truth is, Elliot, it doesn't matter. You start adding up all the choices you've been making, they all add up to one thing. You add up to one thing. Me. What's going on over there? the Bank of E-Network in an elaborate ransomware attack. The malicious malware targeted the bank's computer servers and spread to multiple branches in North America, encrypting the data and rendering the systems unusable unless a ransom was paid. This more militant variant of the hacker collective forced Scott Knowles, CTO of E-Corp, to burn $5.9 million in public view. Shortly thereafter,
Some stunt, huh? Everybody's laughing it off as a dumb prank, but these guys know what they're doing. I never thought that hard cash would be this valuable right now. We're reliving Black Tuesday, the Great Depression. Warning lights were flashing. I mean, in the last two years, the Army Corps of Engineers, the Energy Department, the State Department, and the Office of Personnel Management were all hacked. The government claimed they were boosting security, but what came of it? Same as 1929. Shit hit the fan. An act like this changes people, changes society. I'm just having a drink. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm rambling like a fanatic. <laughs> Is there something else you want to talk about? The beaches of Barbados. Espresso on Rue Montmartre. Sitting around a campfire in the Adirondacks. I'm married. I'm Brock. And I know you're Gideon Goddard. <laughs> I watch way too much news. God. I can't believe I'm a tabloid sensation. More of a diehard fan. <laughs> I got a smile. I'm on a roll. When did he leave you? What, was that on the news too? No. Just your face. It's obvious why they use you as their patsy. You give off a very sympathetic, honest vibe. You're the perfect vessel for their lies. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know what to say to that, but uh, I'll agree with you that uh, it sure as hell feels like there's something bigger than me in control. Thank you. For what? Tomorrow, I'm gonna be a hero. I'm sorry? You may just be a patsy, but you're an important one. In fact, I don't think I've ever met a bigger crisis actor than you before. This is for our country. <laughs> There's a song.